Okay, <laughs> see Lindelof videos converting degrees to radians and back with your TI Inspire calculator. This is another one of those big pretty moments where I show you a way to save some time with your calculator. This is a really great thing. If you look up here in the top right of my calculator, I'm always in radians. I mean, I spend all my time in radians. So occasionally I'll get something in degrees and I'll be like, damn, how am I going to convert this over to radians when I have to go back and forth to my documents? Uh, document settings and this is the way I do it so I'm like okay I have 120 degrees I want 120 degrees in radians but I, ha I don't know what that conversion is so I write in the degrees check this out super important go down here where it says pi and just highlight that in red and then I just hit the degrees right I said 120 degrees remember I said to you I'm always in radians so it's gonna convert if I was in degrees it wouldn't do anything it'd give you 120 degrees back it wouldn't do anything so there's that so there that is right there that is we could put 180 oh Charlie we could put 180 degrees in just to prove that why isn't that working Charlie oh I know why 180 right degrees bang and gives us back pi right so we know this from trigonometry that that's true we can do it backwards and I'll just show you really quickly how to do it I'm just gonna go into settings uh, I'm gonna set up my document settings and I always use radians but I'm gonna change the degrees just to show you this so degree and then I'm gonna hit OK here I'm gonna go back to a calculator right now I'm gonna put in I don't know pi radians so I'm gonna put in pi I'm gonna go back to that same little space right there and put in radians and that should give us 180 degrees, right? So this helps you convert. It's actually really quick. My suggestion to you is, is try to come to grips with which one you're going to use the most often. Set your calculator to that. And then use this little trick when you get stuck, right? Okay. Thanks for watching, you guys. You know, I always uh, try to respond to your comments and questions. Um, if you haven't subscribed, if you have it already subscribed, please do. And guess what? We got another video done in less than two minutes and 30 seconds. Thanks.